Uh, why do you think you guys were able to dominate today? Was it just overwhelming them with with, with strength, or do you, you know something, or the technique gets you to get it back? Um, we had a long, great camp. You know, it's been a while now that we've, we've been waiting to hit somebody else. Um, so it was built up for a while. We were all really excited today. Uh, the fans made a big difference. I know even before the game, we were all excited talking about that. So um, I think there were many different factors that led to that, but we were really excited. We were ready to play today. What's the emotion for you to be able to have a game like that, have a couple of sacks, and have that big of a role? Awesome. Um, unbelievable for me. Um, you know, for me, I feel like I've envisioned things like this and uh, manifested things like this for a long time now. So. Me personally, I'm not surprised, but um, you know, I'm really grateful, really appreciative. I had so much fun. Um, I'm more confident than I've ever been. I'm um, having more fun than I've ever had. Um, you know, I, I think Coach Manilak has been instrumental for me. Um, everything. I, I love being here, and um, so I'm having a lot of fun. What's led to that confidence and fun? Um, well, you know, being healthy for a long period of time has made a big difference for me. Um, and also, you know, I love my position. Um, and just, you know, when I have fun, I play better. And I realized that um, for a long time in my career, I was focused on proving other people wrong. And, you know, I wasn't having fun by doing that. So I kind of tried to change my mindset and to prove myself right and to prove the people to support me right. And uh, I think that has really changed my mindset and has reflected on the field and I'm having fun doing that. We talked to Kalijah and he said, you guys are playing as one talking about the defensive line. They didn't get all the sacks. The linebackers got a lot of them. But what was it like when you guys as a group were seeing them just crashing and getting those opportunities, open up those lanes for people like yourself to get two sacks? Yeah, yeah. I think it's been a collective theme throughout the team and especially our defense this year as, um, you know, we're meshing really well. We're all having fun together. We're all helping each other out. And I think more than ever, we're all really excited to see each other's success. Um, you know, I know in our linebacker group, we're all happy for one another when somebody else does well. And I think that also transfers from, you know, the D-line to the linebackers to the secondary. Um, you know, my two sacks, that wouldn't have happened today. It wasn't for the D-line doing their job. It wasn't for the secondary doing their job. So, um, you know, we're all working together as one. And I think Elijah hit it on the nose by saying that. John, you talked about liking your position. You obviously changed the, from safety to linebacker since you've been at Pitt. Would, do you feel like that's been – that maybe would have been a better fit for you all along? Do you feel like you've grown into that role and, and kind of learned some new things about you? I mean, safeties don't rest the passer here a whole lot. You end up with two sacks. What, it just seems like that's been a good fit. What, what, what went into that? Yeah, um, I guess it was a long time coming. Um, I know I told you guys before that they, uh, you know, talked about me playing linebacker when I was in high school, but I was always hesitant and resistant to do that. Um, you know, I, I really finally grew into my body. I gained a lot of weight. and. Um, like I said before, I think my skill set and my size really fits well with the position I'm playing well. And I, you know, I'm able to transfer those ball skills and you know athleticism from the safety position. And I gained a little bit of weight. Now I kind of have a good combo of the two. I'm being able to play in the box and outside of the box and coverage. So um, you know, I, I love it. Like I said, I'm having fun, and um, I think it's a perfect position for me. Yeah, that role you're playing on third down has been the last couple of years has been a DB. Do you, you kind of feel like your experience there and and now? that kind of lets you be both oh exactly yeah and i like it's it's perfect for me because you know i said my my two favorite things to do are to blitz and to cover so that position is perfect you know everything i want to do and um, i'm having fun with it i get to disguise i get to have some personality um and we get four linebackers on the field so you know we all like to rush the passer and we have a lot of athleticism on the field in that package so um you know i'm glad we had success with that today John, obviously this whole team, you know, you guys have a lot of seniors, a lot of experience, but the linebacker group specifically, you, Cam, Will, Chase, I mean, guys who have been in college football now five to seven years. Um, what does that do for that group and really for the defense as a whole to have that much experience in linebacker? Um, the leadership has been great from everybody, and I think for us it's important um, hearing a lot of different voices. You know, I think um, there's many people that are respected as leaders on the defensive side. Um, you know, a lot of guys with experience, you know, I think any time in football, when you have a lot of seniors, it's going to help your team. And um, with us, we have a lot on defense. So we have a lot of guys who played a lot of snaps. And, you know, we know that, you know, when someone's not playing the best, there's someone right next to them that can pick up the slack. And uh, we all help out each other. And, you know, it doesn't have to be someone with the same voice every time, you know, getting us going. I think, you know, we can always count on different people to step up. And I think that helps us as well. How much does Kenny create toughness? 
Yeah, we, I mean, his toughness, you know, I feel like it embodies, you know, our program as a whole and the city as a whole. You know, he's a tough quarterback, like a high school quarterback almost. You know, he, he's not afraid to run. I know on defense, you know, we just don't want him to, you know, get banged up. Um, but we love when he tucks it and runs it. It gets us fired up. Um, and he's not afraid to get his hands dirty at all. And we love that about him. What's the title for Johnny? What was it like when you saw him? You know, he goes down and like, everyone's like, uh-oh, you know, when he's down. But then he's only off for a play. He's right back in there leading the offense. Right, yeah, that, that gave us momentum, and we know that he's really tough, and we believe in him, and we were happy to see Patty come in and throw a really nice pass as well. Um, you know, we all got behind Patty when that happened, because we all were really confident in him as well. Um, but, you know, when, when Kenny came back in, you know, we had more momentum going, and um, finished the first half strong, and, um, you know, he's a great leader, and we know he's really tough. I see Carlo put it out, agent zero, is that the nickname? Yeah, we can go with that, I like that. Um, you know, when I switched to number zero last year, um, that kind of caught fire from the beginning. So now um, I guess it's going to catch on a little bit more. So I, I'm with that. I love that. John, thank you.